January 4, 2009, one of the most controversial fights of 2009 took place between Antonio Margarito and Shane Mosley. That an illegal pad was found in Margarito's gloves. The trouble began in Margarito's locker room. His trainer, Javier Capatillo, wrapped Margarito's hand while Nassim Richardson looked on. Nassim Richardson saw something peculiar with the padding, so he checked it and a block fell out. The commission flipped it open and a block fell out of it. The fight continued anyways, and Mosley put a vicious beat down on Margarito. Margarito is getting hit flush with every right hand. There's another one. There's a big left hook. Why not stop it now? And there's the white towel from the corner and Shane Mosley. The controversy surrounding this fight brought up more questions about his previous bouts. How long has this been going on, and did Margarito know what was going on? What made things worse is Margarito never took any responsibility for his actions. Antonio Margarito has said that Manny Pacquiao better be ready for war. Pacquiao always is. On fight night, Manny Pacquiao gave Antonio Margarito the worst beatdown he's ever received. Already it has been a tumultuous evening in Cowboys Stadium. And, here comes and he Manny. turns it around and bangs Margarito defensively. Left cross straight on the bad eye. And another one right on that badly bruised right eye of Margarito. Pacquiao hits him again with the left. Margarito nods at him. Pacquiao hits him at will. Bang! No. Pacquiao hits him with a big left hand. And then flurries and backs Margarito off again. He's beating Margarito up in this game. That's a huge blow under Margarito's right eye. He's backing Margarito up, and he's hurting him. To win the fight, even though he's hopelessly behind and getting no, no, no. The first moment that Margarito actually made it look for a moment his fight against Cotto, and here comes back out. As always. He loves to answer back. And absorb the punches a little better than a small one. That would have written 120 physically for Tim. And this left what right up. That is he's he's ready, ready to go. Oh, and we're done. Jim, your prediction was right. Margarito has a vicious beatdown to remember. And the satisfaction of having finished the fight. When De La Hoya announced the fight with Manny Pacquiao, it was a surprise from the moment it was signed. Given that Oscar De La Hoya had not competed below the super welterweight limit in 10 years, and the fact that Manny Pacquiao had never fought above lightweight. The dream match was set at 147 pounds, with most boxing expecting Oscar to struggle to make weight, but then to enter the ring with significant advantages in both weight and strength. The never-ending blitz of left hands that transformed the Golden Boy's good looks into a gross caricature left Oscar to surrender on his stool before the start of the ninth. I mean, he beat the hell out of me, but I'm glad he did because it made me retire. Before Mexican style, there was the Mexicutioner. 
after Pacquiao won a super bantamweight belt from Lelo Ledwaba on two weeks notice, mind you, he embarked on a journey of destruction against Aztec prize fighters. Straight left hand, Pacquiao's landing at Will. Hard left hand, Hatton has to hold on. Will Hatton make it out of the round? He's gone for the second time. He knocked out Emmanuel Lucero in three, outclassed and stopped Marco Antonio Barrera and dropped Juan Manuel Marquez three times in the first round before earning a controversial draw. Then came Morales. While Manny Pacquiao's first encounter against El Terrible was a dramatic battle that saw him drop a clear decision, it also set up one of the Filipinos' biggest wins to date. When in front of a packed Thomas and Mack Center in Vegas, he enacted revenge on Morales when he dropped the Mexican great twice in the tent, giving him the worst beating of his career up to that point. And he nearly stands with Brown in the middle of the ring and takes right hook lands. This is just a warm up round. Manny Morales, who landed some good right hands in the first fight, tried to drive Pacquiao back with right hands. Seems to be still uncoordinated as compared to. Down goes Morales on a Pacquiao right hand. He straight Pacquiao with right hands, even while on unsteady balance. Slightly staggered after that last left hand. And down he goes. Solid left hand shot by Pacquiao, who did not like Morales saying that he didn't hurt him with punches in the second fight. Pacquiao was insulted by that. He said, oh. And the brave heart of Morales goes up. fight by Pacquiao against Morales. He doesn't want to get up. Morales shakes his head as if to say, I want no more. That is that. Dick Dracula stops the fight. 